Welcome to a quick tech tip on things you may not know about your Epson remote control. These are the two most prevalent remote controls for projectors in our district. And uh, they do have a little bit different layout, so I've got them highlighted. Uh, obviously, you've got the power buttons. They are pretty self-explanatory. And then you've got the computer buttons. Everyone would use this if they want to show their computer monitor up on the projector screen. And so if you plug it in, you're not sure why it's not working, you'd normally hit this button and hopefully it would set it to that source. Some people do have DVD VCR combos in their rooms and it is hooked up to the projector and then you would switch it over to this button, the video button. Others have the DVD VCR combo hooked up to their TVs in their rooms if they've got them and so they wouldn't need this option. Now the next option most people use towards an AV mute. Uh, if you're going to be leaving out of your room for about five or ten minutes or the kids are not going to be uh, working and you don't want a long startup time of the projector and a, a long uh, shutdown time of the projector, you go into AV mute and what it does is dim the bulb. Uh, great for saving bulb life, uh, which also saves uh, district dollars. The next step is you get the freeze button. And this is awesome because if you have something on your screen as like a bell ringer activity, I can freeze my screen and then I can work on uh, emails or, or grading and then the kids don't see what's on my screen and they uh, they still are focused on attention of what's up on the board. The e-zoom is a great feature to where I can zoom in and zoom out to draw emphasis on your screen or to uh, to draw out other uh, distractions what's on the monitor and so if I zoom in using the plus or the yeah the plus sign I can also use the arrow keys to maneuver around when I'm zoomed in. The other nice part is that I've got a pointer button that does pretty much the exact same function, draws emphasis. And if you want to get out and uh, not use those anymore, you can either hit those buttons again or hit the escape key and that gets you back to normal. That pretty much sums that up. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask and thank you for watching.